We played basketball together back in high school. I was a point guard. First team all city, second team all state. Until I had to quit, start this restaurant business. Now, Clarence has been with us for about, what, four months now? Ever since the Central Florida Youth Athletic Association <laughs> deemed him <laughs> unfit to coach basketball. Now, he's been in uh, pretty much of a funk. But Clarence wouldn't hear any of it. I mean, who am I kidding? Huh? Not everybody has it to be a big shot in the restaurant business. Have y'all eaten lunch yet? Observe the sole individual who in his entire life has yet to miss a single throw. You have seen his precision, the unmatched skill of his hands. Now, let us see if you believe in it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to welcome our distinguished volunteer, one of the most generous benefactors of this evening's performance, the reputable Mr. Thomas Alvaro! Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. Jake! What's going on? Is there a problem here? Uh, no, no problem, Mr. Hennison. I was, uh, I found a syntax error in the mainframe database, and I was trying to reroute the grid. Oh, well, <laughs> that happens from time to time. But that's no excuse for this. This is the output sheet from last week and you're way behind quota. That's because you gave me three times the work. Well, that's because I have high hopes for you, considering your experience. Jake. Yes, yes, sir. What's going on? Great news. You're now a full-time member of the staff now. Congratulations. <laughs> I thought there weren't any spots for full-time. Yeah, well, we had to fire a few temps. Oh. And that Rose girl. You fired Rose? Yeah. She was way behind quota. So I suggest you get your ass in. What kind of ingrate asshole perpetrates these types of heinous crimes? That's what I want to know. Let's take a caller. Hello, Jelly. You're on Charlie in the Morning. Hello? What can I do for you, Jelly? Have you ever watched someone die, Charlie? You know what, Jelly? I don't buy it. You heard me. I don't believe you. I'll blow this bitch away right now. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> the only thing I'm hearing is a weak copycat wannabe. That's right, Jelly. You are just a pathetic liar. Megan Ward was beaten and strangled, not stabbed. The victims are all journalists. The murders had nothing to do with their preferences or affiliations. You're not a killer, Jelly. Just a loser. In the midst of sending your little uh, message to the public, did it ever cross your feeble mind that we have traced your call? That's right, dummy. The police are already on their way. And we have a full confession on tape, all for you. How is that for a message? 